Uh-oh, human. Listen, I'm not going to allow you to be intellectually dishonest. Excellent. Hi, Pointless Thorns is another Christian channel, and yet again he, like many others, are going to tell us that atheism is a belief. Well, I think you better get to it, Pointless. Roll VT. Uh-oh, human. Listen, I'm not going to allow you to be intellectually dishonest. Atheism is, in fact, a worldview because a worldview is how one views or interprets reality. It is a collection of beliefs. Oh, is it really? Would you like to define a list? of beliefs held by atheists. And you would, in fact, need to know many things in order to make the claim that God does not exist. No, you would actually need one thing, the total lack of evidence for God's existence. You're making yourself look kind of ignorant right now. Uh, here's the way about a if your claim is that you're not convinced that God exists, it would be because you currently believe that God does not exist. And you don't believe that God exists because you believe something else. No, 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 no. The reason I'm not convinced God exists is that nobody has shown me evidence that he does. Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? No? Why? Is that because you believe something else? Or is it just because there is not enough evidence to convince you that Nessie exists? Listen, all worldviews seek to answer all the important questions. What is the origin to life? What is the meaning to life? Who am I? Why am I here? Why is there something rather than nothing? So your lack of belief in the Loch Ness Monster is a worldview. And that means you're seeking the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Do you not just think it's just that I haven't convinced you that Nessie exists? And I don't believe Nessie exists. Does that mean that we share the same worldview? And what about Muslims and Buddhists that don't believe Nessie exists? They're the same as you and I. You have a worldview. All people do. But why does your worldview better explain life and all of creation? Listen, we're like detectives and we're both presenting our own case, but you have the burden of proof for why you believe what you believe, just as I have the burden of proof for why I believe what I believe. Well, I think you might be veering off from does God exist a bit, and I'm assuming you're talking about things like creation and evolution, in which case the reason I would suggest that my worldview is better than yours is that we actually have evidence. And I am glad that you have acknowledged that you have the burden of proof to prove that God exists. I'm looking forward to your evidence. And many ignorant atheists, they make the illogical mistake of saying that atheism makes no claims. Ah, so perhaps you'd like to share your claims with regard to your lack of belief in the Loch Ness Monster. Atheism isn't making any claims other than perhaps one. Evidence hasn't been shown that demonstrates that God does exist. That's the only claim you could say atheism makes. But atheism makes no claims is itself a claim that would need to be defended, but it can't be defended because it's a claim. It's self-refuting. Well, let's go through my atheistic claim, shall we? One, nobody has demonstrated sufficient evidence to convince me God exists. I think that's about it, really. And if you claim that atheism makes no claims, well, then you claim ignorance. And so you might as well be a blank canvas. And if that's the case, well, then I'll paint a picture on you. Whoop, there, look at that. That's you making claims. You seem to be saying that ignorance is a bad thing. The wonderful thing about ignorance is that you then say, so what is the answer? And you look into it. That is what science does. Not knowing something is good because that then can drive you to find out, increasing the sum of human knowledge. What is it you do as a religious person? You look in a 2,000 year old book which never changes, which makes no predictions, which has contradictions. Now tell me again that not knowing something is a bad thing. Atheists make claims whether you like it or not because every proposition that affirms something denies something else by logical implication because truth is absolute and exclusive. Absolute and exclusive, okay. So which God is the right God? And then even amongst Christians, which church is the right church? Which set of beliefs amongst Christians are the correct set of beliefs? Now, if I'm wrong and there is a God, then the worst I have done is basically say, nobody's convinced me you existed. If you're wrong, but there is a God, 
a different God, then you've been praying to the wrong God, which is only going to make the real one rather mad. Your belief that God does not exist is within your worldview, which is a collection of beliefs. You only deny God because you affirmed something else. So what is that something else that you believe? No. The only thing that I am affirming as an atheist is you have not shown evidence to me to convince me that God exists. If you show me the evidence, I'll accept it and then I'll believe. Because if God is true, your worldview will crumble. I know, because it happened to me when I had been an atheist. And finally, atheism is not a lack of belief, otherwise you wouldn't even have any beliefs. <laughs> but you do. So you believe in Zeus then, and Ra, and the Juju man in the mountains? Because you're atheistic towards all of those. So therefore, following your logic, you don't hold any beliefs. And what was it you said earlier on? Listen, I'm not going to allow you to be intellectually dishonest. Oh dear. I'm going to show you an example. Look, you don't merely have a lack of belief that this is red. No, you possess a belief that this is green. Likewise, you do not possess a mere lack of belief that God exists. Rather, you possess a belief that God doesn't exist. Well, I can think of one big difference between your pen and God. You've shown us at least some evidence that the pen is green. And your belief that God doesn't exist stems directly from your worldview, which is a collection of beliefs. So, let me get this straight. Your lack of belief in the Loch Ness Monster is nothing to do with the fact that I haven't evidenced it in any way, shape or form, but purely down to your worldview. Really. All beliefs determine unbeliefs. All unbeliefs stem directly from beliefs. So, listen, you present your case, I present my case, and then may the one that is most reasonable be believed. But don't tell me that this is not red. Tell me what it is. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to your case for God existing, because you haven't demonstrated it yet. And to spend your entire life going out of your way to tell people you don't believe God exists, it's absolutely ridiculous. You look foolish. Is that as foolish as you going out your way to tell everyone that Nessie doesn't exist? I don't go out my way telling people. If someone says to me God exists, I'll say to them, show me. You're claiming God exists, so I'm saying to you, show me. You need to get busy. You need to present your case, show people why you believe what you believe. Don't be a coward. Say what it is you believe and then defend what you believe. I'll do the same. That's not how it works. I'm not making a claim. All I'm saying is that you have not shown me any evidence that God does exist. You need to get busy and prove to us that Nessie doesn't exist. That's nuts. I would need to prove to you that she does. Here's what I believe. Christianity is the most reasonable of all beliefs. Jesus is the truth and the only way to life. And I'll defend that. In fact, I have. My entire website is dedicated to it. Hey, did you know? As it turns out, I wrote an article on that. Oh, by the way, this is green. Just in case you keep calling it not red. It's green. Oh dear. You're asking me for evidence that God doesn't exist. Well, throughout recorded history, there's been between eight to 12,000 gods. Let's call it 10,000. So you're asking me to evidence that all 10,000 gods don't exist. Okay, I'll do that when you've evidenced that the first 9,000 999 didn't exist. No, the reason you don't believe in any of those other gods is that evidence hasn't been shown to you that they really did exist. That's the exact same position I have with regard to your god. Now you said that you will present your case. I'm happy for that. Please drop me a line and let's arrange a debate, a nice friendly debate. Until next time, stay sensible. Sit down.